Good morning. It is um the ep I'm gonna say episode two of Vlogmas. Um I just closed out yesterday's vlog in the exact same position. Um because it was super late last night, it was like two AM when I went to sleep and I didn't want to be like shouting in the house. So I've kind of figured out what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna get ready first of all. Just look at this face. And um I'm hopefully going to maybe I'll explain more later but I'm going to go try give blood I don't think they're going to allow me to um I'll talk about that later like why Ireland is super super strict on blood and then I have also expressed my interest in like I've done it officially online um through the Irish blood transfusion service um of joining the unrelated bone marrow donor registry um which does mean that like if somebody needed it I would go for surgery and stuff like that um but so I'm not officially on it yet I've just ex expressed I've just expressed my interest I need to wear my retainer I can't talk properly uh, I didn't wear it last night um so my voice is so I hurt my voice the other day um so I'm gonna try and do that I'm also gonna try and shop for Christmas presents um in town and decorate for Christmas and get a couple of things done because it's a fun day off. I'm gonna get ready for the day and we'll just get moving. Slight change of plans, more so addition to plans. Before I got ready, so you have to eat a bunch as well before you can give blood, especially you have to kind of say it to convince them. Um, if you're under a uh, female under 26 and under like five, four or something, which I am definitely under, but um, I went downstairs, I was petting my dog. My dog is super old. I've probably, I've met, I definitely mentioned her before in videos, but she's 12 um, and she has like kind of a chronic virus thing. Uh, it gives her loads of papillomas, really gross, uh, but not that gross, okay. But um, it is really gross because she's had this really big one and it, bust during the night obviously. I just noticed, my parents obviously didn't notice this morning when they left for Dublin. Sorry my camera's really heavy. <laughs> I'm doing this with the DSLR. Um, so I called the vet. I'm gonna be bringing her at five. So I was going to go into town after trying to give blood even though I'm not, I know that they're gonna turn me away so but but I think I think I'm gonna try and go in now just so I can get a few things. Um, I have to get like random stuff like conditioner, what a glamorous life I live. But I'm gonna try and do that now um, so that I can bring poor Sparkles to the vet. So I'm just about to head out now, but I just thought I would show you the lip color I'm wearing today. I'm wearing the Too Faced Melted Matte in Pumpkin Spice. It's part of that um, Christmas collection, which I actually just got like two days ago because my mom was getting it for me for Christmas and I was like, but I, I would love to wear the colours in the run up to Christmas. We got it a couple of weeks ago and she was like, okay, you can have it on December 1st. So that was three days ago. So I've also worn hot buttered rum and that was really nice as well. It's quite dark on someone as pale as me, but I really like this one. I'd say this is my favourite so far. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna head into town now. Can we just take a moment for how freaking long my hair is? It's so funny looking at me with the DSLR, but look how freaking long my hair is. Like, what? What? Look how long it comes down at the front. Oh my God. Does this mean I'm gonna get a haircut? Absolutely not. <laughs> but um, yeah, looking cute. Obviously I straightened it. But, um, yeah, just thought I'd, thought I'd share. The lighting is so bad in here because winter sun. Is this just in the, like, the northern hemisphere or what? <laughs> My double chin coming out to play. Um, but, woo, job's done. If you can see those, woo. Had to get some of my mom's birthdays on the 20th. Oh, I'm shaking so much. Oh no, okay. Where can we get a good angle? Okay. <laughs> I was good over here for a second. There? Yes. So my mom's birthday is on the 21st of December. Then obviously Christmas is on the 25th. And nobody wants to like 
cut it short for her so <laughs> it's always but it's always kind of hard like trying to find two equally good gifts so close to each other if that makes sense but um I got two cute things I got jewelry and then I got something else so yeah does anybody else with hooded lips have this issue I know everybody has this issue like this like I have very hooded lips like I understand but yeah so I didn't get the dog rice bone I was going to because I feel bad for her but then I was like oh maybe I won't I'll get it for her another day because I was kind of running out of time on the ticket on my car but I got my mom's presents got conditioner what else did I get oh I got donuts <laughs> there's a bakery in town um it's like a traditional Polish bakery the guy who runs it I think is Polish uh, his name is Andy's bakery best ever they have these like pizzas kind of things oh they're so good so I got those for lunch because I have to eat plenty before I go later and yeah we're on the road again okay so last time I think I was talking I was in the car I have since gone home stupid blowers are on hold on there we go so I just went home ate uh, I know this is not the best angle, but it's what we're working with. So, yeah, I just went home and ate. I didn't really eat enough, but I kind of also know that they're not going to... Ah, uh, the sun! They're not going to... Oh, this is just quality right here. Uh, they're not going to let me give blood, so it's fine. Um, It's just to get that cheek swab thing. I think it's a cheek swab. Um, but I came prepared anyways, I have my little, I needed my little scan card and I couldn't find any photo ID, which is why it's like 3pm and it opened at 2, well, it's not quite 3, but uh, I was hoping to be there earlier, but myself and my brother were also looking at memes, so, but we're on our way, so, yeah, I said I would talk about like blood donation in Ireland, we're really strict compared to other countries, is what I believe, um, so I really minorly changed my prescription. Um, I'm on the pill for acne and I went onto another like stronger kind of dose. It's just different. But um, last week, which means they're probably gonna turn me away. Uh, also, there's loads of travel restrictions. Uh, a huge part of it is that we don't have I can't remember what it's called. The nickname is Mad Cow Disease. Um, it happened in the 1980s, I believe, in, oh, uh, sorry, very large oil truck, um, in England. And a lot of Irish people lived in England uh, at that time. So basically we don't have that in our blood sample stream or whatever because it was never really in Ireland so if you lived in England during those years you can't donate there's loads of restrictions uh, there's certain restrictions because I'm under 20 I'm a female under 26 which means I'm more prone to fainting apparently uh, it doesn't affect me at all giving blood so um, I'm always fine in that regard and then they take test your hemoglobin levels which I'm pretty sure they do everywhere but um, I was a bang on hemoglobin levels, like 14.5 if you're curious, and I'm a vegetarian, so, um, but yeah, basically there's loads of restrictions, and you know, you can fail on the day, they can turn you away on the day, and you might wait up to two hours, but well, actually I've waited two hours and 15 minutes last time, um, to like be seen, and that was just a busy time, this is like the daytime session, because it like travels, it's not a stationary one. Excuse me, so it's like five till eight or something the next couple days, so I can always go back if they need something else to take that cheek swab. That's why I'm doing it today, but it's two till five, I think, today. And at five, I think I said before, I have to bring my poor doggo to the vet. So I need to be out of there. Okay, so I'm parked now and I parked like away from the rest of civilization because I'm driving my mom's car, which is why it's a bougie car. Um, I don't have a car. So, yeah, hopefully they take me. I really don't think they will, donation-wise, but even more hopefully they let me join 
well now registry because I won't be able to do this for ever basically if I don't do it now so fingers crossed and I'll try and get some sneaky footage in there I've recorded stuff in here before um, always giving my friend info so uh, I'll be able to sneakily record hopefully but that's all I'm not here for too long <laughs> So those are clips from the blood donation clinic. I'm back in the car. It's like almost 5 p.m. Sparkers with the little nug. Hey, honey. And um, yeah, I'm mad as hell. I absolutely just had a fucking meltdown in the car, which I will talk about later while I word an angry email. So stay tuned for that. Doggo and I are back from the vet. Um, not so great news, she does need surgery again. That's not a surprise though. She's 12, but they're like, she's not that old, but basically don't buy a dog from a puppy mill. We did 12 years ago and we learned our lesson. Uh, she has a type of, it's like HPV, but in dogs basically. She got it when she was born. And um, yeah, so she has papillomas all over her body and some of them turn a bit nasty. Luckily, none of them have been cancerous so far. But, like, this is going to cost us a lot because we're going to have to get a vaccine, like, made specifically for her from her own tissue and all this sort of good stuff. So, this is at a terrible angle. Like, it's down really low, but uh, it's a way that I can, like, rest my arm. So, now that I'm calm, you probably saw in a clip when I was bringing the dog to the vet that I was, I probably said I was really annoyed or I was really upset. I didn't film when I was leaving the blood donation clinic because I had a pure fucking meltdown in the car. So as I had said before, I was going, I'm not gonna cry. Uh, I was going to the clinic because I was gonna see if they would, you know, take my blood, which they did, but, um, it was really because I wanted to join the... I got cut off because my memory card was full. So, I wanted to join the Unrelated Bone Marrow Donors Registry. Um, and this was not like a decision I had taken lightly. I've been thinking about it for a long time. And then in, I say it was the last time I donated, which was in August. And um, this was like the soonest I could donate again. I, like as soon as I went home, I looked more into it and decided that I would do it and I registered my interest then. Um, yeah, that was like, was it even before then? It was, it was quite a while ago. And, um, so, sorry, my family's making noise downstairs. And so when I checked in, I said, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I was having chats with your man. I said, I'm looking to join, join the bone marrow donors registry. What do I need to do? He was like, oh, great, talk to the person in the, like, interview office, the nurse in the interview office. And I was like, okay, cool. So, you know, if, I don't know what it's like in other countries, but, you know, you sit there and you wait and you check in. And then you sit there and you wait. You tick all the boxes in your paperwork thing that you have to do every time that you go there. And then they call you in for the little interview and they test your hemoglobin levels. And I already took off my plaster because fuck it. So I keep getting interrupted. I was going on about, he said, talk to the nurse, and I said, okay, and then I was talking to the nurse, and I told her, and she was like, okay, I'll talk to Michael, whoever the fuck Michael is, and then she came back, and I was like, okay, cool, is that all good then? She was like, yeah, that's all fine, we'll figure that out. I said, okay, great, and then I went, and I thought it was like some sort of cheek swab kind of thing, as someone had said before, like it was a, a sample like that, I don't know why, I feel like somebody said that to me at one point, it's not, it's a blood sample. And as I was walking away, first off, it was super awkward because I had, I had drank so much, I had to pee so bad. Um, but somebody had to come with me and stand outside the cubicle while I just peed for a million, million seconds. So it was just really awkward because I was like, this person listening to me pee. Then when I was leaving, she was like sitting me down, you know, at the, like kind of quote, recovery table even though I feel totally fine, except like, 
a little bit cold and a little bit want to take a nap. Uh, I asked her, I was like, oh, you know, I, I had spoken to people earlier about joining the registry and how to do that. And she's like, oh, you should have said. And I was like, I, I did say, um, I think I said it to one of the people taking my blood as well, um, as the first two. And she was like, oh yeah, well you should have said to me. And I was like, you were like the third, or she was the third or fourth person, fourth person to be like attending to me while I was on the bed. Um, because they were busy and I had had bad bruising before. So I think they were a bit nervous of that. And she was like, well, we've taken the full pint this time, so we can't take any more sample. And um, that's it, you're gonna have to do it next time. And I was just like, Who's I like? Who's I supposed to tell? I I said it to a number of people, you know. I had registered online m months ago, and she was like, "Oh well, you know, you should have said it to someone else when they were taking your blood. Tell them that they needed to take the sample." And I was kind of like, "I'm not in charge here. Like, I I just don't think I didn't think I was gonna have to tell people to do like how to do their." job like given that I explained what I was trying to do so I'm really really frustrated I'm really upset and you could be like but anime just do it next time in like eight weeks or 12 weeks or the reason I got so upset I wasn't sad I was really angry and I was just bawling crying in the car you can still see my eyes are red they're gonna be so swollen tomorrow um but I won't be vlogging tomorrow because I'm working all day I was on the phone to my mom I called her I texted her when I was at the recovery table and I just said I am so angry and then as I was leaving, I was like, <laughs> trying to hold him in. And then I got into the car and I was just so mad. I was just bawling, crying on the way home. And then I just kept slipping out of gear in the car. My arm hurts really bad. Um, because I was like not focused and it was just... So I keep starting to say there isn't going to be a next time. This is the issue because obviously one of the reasons I'm doing Vlogmas is that I'm moving so soon. I'm only in this country another like 24 days. I will be back for weekends and weeks and whatever, but it's not, I'm not going to be permanently living here for at least a year. Uh, fingers crossed that is. But like it's so frustrating like I've been that's why I was so upset um so I'm definitely going to be writing a letter to them this evening I also need to write a letter to the Irish embassy to see if they will hire me they won't but it's okay and I don't think I'm allowed to work there my visa so um yeah so that's me being super frustrated I look really blonde in this light so that's good I obviously took off my um, lip product, but I'm just really mad about the whole thing. Um, it's gonna take a while to get over it. I'm definitely gonna write an email and just say that, like just say how unhappy I am about the whole situation, how frustrating it was and how upset I am about it because it's really, really frustrating. And it's not like they have an abundance of these donors. So you would think that they would be a bit more excited or like, let's get her done when someone offers, I don't know, like I am putting myself forward for potentially like having to take two weeks off work and undergoing surgery and things like that. Like it's not an exciting, fun thing for me. It's not like going on an adventure. Like I very much understand that. It's, it's a very serious thing, but I don't know, it's really frustrating. So I'm going to get into comfy clothes later and do some more tidying. I have loads of laundry to put away and maybe decorate my room for Christmas a little bit. And yeah, I guess I will update you more later. That is basically it for today's vlog. I just thought I would close it out. It's like not that late, it's only 10 past eight, but I'm basically just going to be editing. Uh, I did a bit of cleaning but I'm just gonna be like, trying to get my life in order <laughs> this evening. Um, I have to draft emails, exciting stuff like that. One of them is, is to uh, the Irish Blood Transfusion Service, so that should be fun. But yeah, there's my plaster. Um, but I hope you enjoyed. 
today's video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see the rest of vlogmas um also this t-shirt said says and you don't speak irish to me today though because i'm very bad at irish so i hope you enjoyed um tomorrow's video will not be a vlog uh, it's going to be a makeup declutter, I believe, and that's that. As I said, there's going to be some days when I'm working full days and it's, it just doesn't make any sense to do anything otherwise because especially all those days, my friend is also... My two best friends don't live around here and um, one of them is still in London until the day after my last day of work. So there will be plenty of videos coming up then especially at that stage it'll almost be like packing time which is scary but that is it for today's video and follow me on instagram at anime.yt to see more from me my everyday life and much more outfit kind of stuff on instagram but yeah that's where to find me and i will see you tomorrow